<laughs> he says, give me some pumpkins. <laughs> oh, that's his bum. <laughs> I thought it was his head. Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. My name's Mark, and I want to talk a little bit about vlogging, the history of vlogging, in particularly uh, my history of vlogging and the cameras I've used uh, over the past 25 years. Uh, so I've only been on the YouTube platform for about five years now, uh, and um, I've got lots of footage from the different types of cameras. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit about the cameras I have used, uh, and why I've done the upgrade and why I have upgraded to the newest camera that I'm currently using. Uh, so, starting out with the Canon ES270. Uh, so this here is a Hi8 cassette uh, video camcorder. Uh, and I purchased this in 97 when our son was born. Uh, so it's, um, you know, it was a little noisy. You've got your, uh, you can hear the cassette uh, running in the recording. Uh, and of course the resolution was just a standard resolution. I'll show you a little clip on what this camera has done. Uh, this is a little clip of actually when our daughter Tiana was born. A cute clip of Braxton, Tara, and our daughter Tiana in the hospital. Who's that, Braxton? No. no. Who, is it? Who is that? I don't know. That's Anna. Anna. That's your sister. 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 That's Tiana, right? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. All right. And mommy's happy. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take her home, and what are we gonna do with her? Play with her and give her a bath. So in around 2004, it was time to upgrade to the new digital format. Uh, now that used a hard drive that was actually mounted to the side of the camcorder. Uh, I don't currently have that camera uh, because when we built the house in 2008, uh, we actually got broken into that uh, within a few months uh, and uh, that camera was stolen. Uh, so I did get a replacement camera, which I'll talk about next. Uh, but here's a little footage of the farm and what it looked like uh, through the eyes of that camera back in 2005. Hey, Chi Chi. Hi. Snowy? Snowy! Cooper? Lick, lick, lick. replacement camera from our insurance company uh, is the HDR XR200. Uh, now this one actually has a, a wide angle lens on it, which really isn't that wide, um, it, which was one of the reasons why I upgraded uh, to the next camera. Uh, what I really liked about this one, and I've done a few weddings on this which have worked really well, uh, is it has a, um, a Bluetooth microphone. Uh, so this attachment on the top uh, transmits or receives the signal from here. Uh, so you're able to record it pretty far distances uh, and capture, um, you know, maybe the groom and the bride uh, up uh, with the minister uh, uh, doing their uh, their speeches uh, to each other. Um, so this is a nice camera and this is actually the camera that started um, that I started using or I was using while uploading to YouTube. Uh, so if you go back and look at some of those older videos in around uh, 2015-2016 uh, you'll see um, 
what this one here looked like. Uh, so the video I'm going to show you is a video I've probably shown in a couple other videos uh, in the past. Uh, we had two lambs that came in from rescue uh, and it was uh, Lily and Lulu uh, and we had them inside the house. Uh, so monitoring them, making sure they were getting fed. Um, our barn situation wasn't great at that time. Uh, so when it got cold, we would generally bring animals inside. Uh, so here's a little clip from this camera here. Your nipples. Oh, hard work, hey, Lily. So that clip was from 2014, uh, just a couple years before I started uploading to YouTube. Uh, so the big jump in quality from that one then improved on to the Sony Alpha 5100. Um, so this is a nice, small, compact camera. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. It does have a flip-up screen, which is great for vlogging. Uh, unfortunately, what had happened was uh, I would flip it up and down uh, during my vlogging, uh, holding it, uh, filming what's in front of me, and then of course spinning it around and flipping up the, uh, the display so I could make sure I was kept in frame. This camera, uh, the screen on it failed on me. Uh, so since I do weekly videos, I needed a replacement right away and then I would figure out um, what I was gonna do with this. Um, now, one reason uh, that I upgraded from this one here uh, is because there is no microphone in jack. Uh, so currently I'm using a uh, wireless mic here uh, that's hooked up to this camera uh, and I'm able to get some clear audio. And this clip I'm going to show you that was in 2017, you'll see the reason why I wanted the wireless. Uh, I'm with the animals, but you can't hear me very good. Uh, so having a wireless mic uh, for your setup is definitely um, something you want to look at. So here's that clip of 2017 and me with the animals. Uh, you'll probably recognize a few of them. Hi, Barry. How you doing? Okay, so these are the little piglets. Well, they're not little piglets, but... Uh, this is Pi uh, Piper, and that's Petey. Now, in, um, in feeding these guys, you want to make sure you don't overfeed pigs. Pigs can, um, you want some more? You guys want some more? I've got a couple apples here. Here. Uh, you want to feed them a ration. Now, what happens is you can't, you can't get through that skin, can you? <laughs> um, you don't want to overfeed them. You want to put them on a ration. Generally, uh, rule of thumb is a cup for every 25 pounds of pig. Uh, now, the way we feed these guys is a little bit differently because they're all together. You want... Oh, <laughs> Here, Lambert, you gonna have that? There you go. So then we move on to the next generation of camera. After the screen failed, I immediately had to find a replacement uh, to make sure I could continue to do my vlogging every Sunday. Uh, and I found uh, a nice camera that, uh, that kind of fit the bill, uh, or most of the bill anyway. It still has the flip out screen. Uh, you can rotate it uh, and you can do it this way. Um, there was a few drawbacks to it. Um, what I've found is the audio in this one uh, on the top here, it has two forward-facing mics and one that comes back. Uh, this camera is designed for um, capturing audio in front of you uh, and, you know, kind of filtering out the audio around you. So what I've actually had to do with this camera over the years, uh, over the last two years, is whenever I'm turning the camera around to speak to the camera, 
Uh, I've got to adjust my, uh, my audio every time I turn it back and forth, uh, up a couple decibels and then down a couple decibels uh, to make sure that it's a nice even flow. Um, now what this camera does have, it, it does actually have a microphone in jack. Uh, so that was a bonus. Uh, and in this next clip, again, I'm hanging out with the animals. And you're going to see the, the difference of what uh, having a wireless microphone uh, does for a video. The drawback on this, though, is the lens. Uh, so this lens here, uh, this is an E-mount for Sony, and this is a 1650 millimeter. Uh, so you can think of it as the 16 is the width or how wide it is. Uh, it also depends on a few other factors, but it'll give you an idea. So this is a 16 millimeter at its widest. Uh, this one here, I believe, is a 20 millimeter at its widest. And what that means is uh, this newer camera is narrower. So I've really noticed it uh, during vlogging when I'm out with the animals, uh, if, I'm, if I'm capturing some action, it's a narrow field of view. Um, so you've got to step back a little bit to get some, some good action. Um, and then of course, if you add the image stabilization to it, which then crops it further um, because it is a digital stable uh, image. Uh, so, you know, it tightens up. And I've been using this one for the last, um, like I said, the last two years. It has been fine, but I've really been wanting to, um, to upgrade and move out of this. Uh, this works great for static uh, videos as I'm doing now um, because you can set it up and you can kind of move the tripod away from you uh, and that works well. So I will be still using this camera. There are times where I use multiple cameras. You want to make sure you get uh, and catch all those angles. Um, so the video I'm going to show you here again is me in the yard with a wireless microphone uh, and you'll see and hear the difference that it makes. Uh, we got uh, about 6,000 pounds of oats, husked oats, uh, delivered to us and uh, we got a call last week saying that the, um, yeah it's all gone guys, <laughs> that there was some food grain um, oats that had been uh, uh, delivered into their warehouse and there was a mouse that was found in the top of the uh, the large bag of grain actually in both bags um, look at you guys F food talks doesn't it <laughs> uh, so um so they said you know of course they can't use them for food consumption uh, so uh, what they did is they called us up and said we have this here can you use it uh, apparently they throw out a lot of grains uh, so this is a great connection to have uh, because we use uh, oats, barley, wheat, um, lentils, peas, uh, flaxseed, canola seed, uh, all that stuff for our animals. Uh, we don't use as much oats. Um, we do use the oats as a bartering tool for, uh, for our farrier. Uh, so we actually pay our farrier in grains, uh, which works out really well because uh, it's something that we have, it's something that she needs uh, for her animals, uh, and it works out well. Turbo, Turbo, you're not a good cameraman, buddy. <laughs> Turbo, <laughs> oh, Turbo. So that brings me to the newest camera. Uh, now I haven't actually vlogged with it. I have just picked it up this past week. Uh, and there was a few different reasons why I chose this camera. Uh, it has a flip out screen, just like the ZV-1, uh, which comes out to the side and you can rotate it and see what you're, see what you're doing. Uh, it also has the microphone um, set up so I can go wireless mic. Uh, one nice thing about it, though, is uh, it takes an E-mount lens, which is uh, the same type of lens as this is. Uh, and what that means is I can actually take the lens off and use multiple lenses, uh, depending on what I'm, I'm looking at. Um, so this camera here is the Sony Alpha 7C, uh, and it has image stabilization on the sensor itself. 
So think of it as um, it's a five-point image stabilizer, uh, kind of like suspension in a car, I guess you could look at it that way. It doesn't use the digital that the ZV-1 does. Um, and this one here, I'm actually zoomed in all the way, and this camera, the lens, is an arm's length away from me. Um, so I'm catching quite a bit of a field of view. And if I jump over here and rotate this all the way out, you're gonna see that there is a lot more room in the frame. And this is going to be a huge asset um, when I go out with the animals. We're gonna be able to see a lot more action happening there and we're gonna, we're gonna widen that, uh, that field of view. This video is sponsored by Esker, the makers of accessories, personal accessories, and one of them being uh, a wallet. This is the new wallet here. Uh, this is made by Esker. This is the Parliament Edition wallet. Uh, and it actually has a tracker as well. Uh, so you can push the little side button here uh, and pop up your cards, and, and there you go. Uh, there's a little button on here, and you double click it, and it will ring your phone. <laughs> You'll be able to find out where exactly your phone is. Uh, now, on the other side of that, uh, let's say you lose your wallet. You're not sure where it is. You can actually ring your wallet from your phone. Um, but another great aspect of it is it has a tracking system where you can find out where you last had your wallet. And this can be pretty important. So you go in and you open up your app. Uh, and it's the uh, Chipolo app. And then you select your device. Uh, and here you can see on the map, it is showing that it is here at the 10 acre woods. Uh, you can click ring and you'll hear a ring happen. So if uh, it's somewhere in the house, uh, maybe it's under the bed, the cats were playing with it uh, and knocked it under the bed, uh, you can find it here. Valentine's Day is coming up. Uh, this would probably make a great gift for uh, the man or really woman in your family. Tara was actually interested uh, in it as well. Uh, you can receive up to 40% off of your purchase. Uh, check out the link down in the description. And let's go out and uh, do some vlogging. So this is the way I normally start the videos. We're walking out <laughs> to uh, check in on the animals. Uh, and uh, look, we can see everybody. Tara, Tiana, <laughs> myself, all in one frame. Tiana's hiding in the back though. Uh, so it is the end of January and Tara is now thinking of uh, spring, of course. <laughs> so what she's done here is uh, she started to shovel out the walkway in or the gate area uh, and then we're going to take the snow blower and run it straight through there uh, and uh, clean that up. We are however expecting about 15 centimeters I think. It's a um, what is it called an Alberta clipper. I guess it's similar to a Colorado low but it's just higher. All right, we got our water and Levi is waiting for uh, well, some fresh water. <laughs> They've got quite a bit of water in there already. Carl's in the back and Daisy's probably in her house. That's where she hibernates during the winter months. <laughs> you got a little something on your face there, Levi. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go in and check on the birds, see how they're doing and the rabbits. And we should see Billy, you know, right there. And there's Meadow. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, nice and warm in here. Okay, looks like we need to grab some more snow. So I'll throw some more snow down there for the rabbits. Uh, they, uh, they are quite enjoying their 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 snow. Oh, I just got beamed in the head by a pigeon <laughs> with all this commotion going on. Uh, so we've uh, we've changed our water situation to these rubber ones. You can still see how there's ice around it. Uh, we've been doing uh, three containers just putting a smaller amount in them, just because they weren't drinking all the water. Ducks like to play in the water, uh, and thus that's why you get these uh, icy dishes. 
So here's the boys. They've uh, got a little bit of water in there. They do still have some snow over there. So that is good. Uh, we'll put a couple more shovels of that in there. I've uh, got some roosters that just like to hang out in here. I guess they, uh, they don't care too much for the ducks. We put some hay on the ground just to keep the, uh, the ducks and all the birds off of the frozen ground. And of course, White Lightning, wherever he is, uh, he sometimes hangs out inside. I can see some white in there, but he sometimes uh, normally hangs out in there. Well, hello, everybody. Not yet. Not yet. Everybody's waiting at the door. <laughs> uh, Tiana is going to grab some hay. Uh, and the reason why we grab hay first before we let these guys in is to distract all the others. So all these guys here. What is it? What? You want breakfast? Okay, we got it. Blackie's here waiting. Everybody kind of knows their, their routine. Uh, Turbo, right over there, he tends to uh, push his way in. This morning, it looks like, uh, well, he's, uh, he's just relaxing. What was that? What was that? All right, let's get these guys some hay. Hay. All right, so now all the animals out here have hay. These ones are distracted, and of course, these guys are still uh, waiting at the door. All right, Tiana has put out the food for you guys. So in you go. Hey, don't let me first. <laughs> They're excited. And stop. <laughs> oh, oh, Blackie. Yeah, I forgot about Blackie. She knows what she's doing. She's got her food here. Alpacas have their food here. And the pigs, of course, are in the back corner. So who's going to go where? Paula. <laughs> uh, it's because <laughs> Jasper's there. And normally, normally it's Shanzi and uh, Paula. <laughs> They've kind of mixed things up this morning. Right. Paula's about the only one that spits. She just needs to chill out, I think. <laughs> and Ritzy, look at Ritzy. Oh, his feathers are coming in. He looks like a, a Pekin duck now. No more baby feathers. <laughs> All right, eat away. Don't mind us. So they're just eating pellets here. We like to give them uh, pellets in the morning and in the evening, uh, just as a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Of course, their hay is their um, is their staple diet. <laughs> but they love their uh, they love their pellets. <laughs> And Blackie. Are y'all done? All right, well, she can go out. You wanna scoot her this way? All right, out you go, Blackie. Good, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Good girl. <laughs> All right, so everybody's got the little piles of hay around. And you've got some treats for the littles. They don't no. do treats. No, no. I gotta, like, I'd like to put fat and onyx up. See how she's not, just doesn't look around? Uh-huh. She's always been weird since she was, Yeah, she's got always her, been, um, kind of small. Eh, what? Eh, get it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now they know what it is. What's that? Yeah. Onyx, you're the one I want. You're the one I want. Onyx is the black sheep. <laughs> Onyx! Oh, now you're spoiled. 
All right, pumpkin time. <laughs> they love their pumpkins, and the seeds are a natural dewormer. We've talked about that in previous videos. And there's the, the local train passing by. I'm going to grab another little Jordan Rose that because I can't get it away. Hi, Turbo. <laughs> the pushy one. Um, I was leaning up against the door between uh, the last recording and Tara tried to come in. I thought it was Turbo and I... I uh, pushed my uh, my body into the door to close it, but uh, it was Tara coming in. <laughs> I need two people. Ah, what do you need? Look at you, Chunky. Get Holly. Hey. Where's oh? Here's Holly. Here. Here, Holly. Mom, can you help? Oh, me? there you go. I can't get the puppy. Oh. You can give her. A <laughs> <laughs> these guys, these two are hogging it. <laughs> We're blacking. Oh, you two. That's good because they're not anywhere near over here. Well, I think that's probably about it. There's a couple pieces there. Oh, you guys! <laughs> uh, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Here you go. Oh, what's that? Oh. Mm mm. So these are oats. A little bit of Yeah, you don't want to give them uh, too many oats. Um, their main diet should be hay, but uh, they get treats, and they love their oats. Hannah's still working on those pumpkins. Yeah, she asked me for help, but I'm going to hand her a full. I can't get this one apart. Well, they'll rip it apart. <laughs> need, a, uh, need a knife. No, I like to split it because Turbo. Here, take this. Uh, usually the pigs are pretty good at ripping them apart. Turbo hogs them. <laughs> Well, and they seem to be getting slightly mushy because of the uh, the yes. cold. They have gotten chilled. Well, this is it. We've got like ten, six left. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at these two. <laughs> they want pumpkins. <laughs> it says, "Give me some pumpkins." <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, it's in there. <laughs> oh, they love their pumpkin. Any, any worms that uh, were in them will be in the barn. And then they'll go out in the spring and they'll be, barely be in here. Yeah. And then this will get cleaned out. Well, with a new tractor. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that'll be yeah, nice. Re so, some of the yeah, ones. I think we're gonna have to remove, uh, see if we can remove this wall over here. Uh, this is just a temporary wall here that we put up. This yeah, is the uh, the full opening, uh, but it's this wall here. So I think what we want to do is we want to uh, remove that, which I shouldn't take too much. There's a few screws in there, uh, and then lift the whole wall off in a segment so we can go in with the tractor, uh, go into there, uh, and then go into here and clean out. And then uh, possibly, uh, you know, remove... Well, these all come off. Yeah, these all come off. So these are all off, just uh, screwed in. Uh, and then, of course, we want to do something with the water, figure out what we're going to do with uh, plumbing it in and uh, hardwiring it in uh, for them and the, uh, and the pigs. Hey, Holly. She's just running around looking for, <laughs> looking for bumpkin. Look, there's hey, one right Holly. here. Holly. Oh, it's all the seeds are gone. Oh, <laughs> she's looking for seeds. <laughs> Sheldon. Sheldon. This is Sheldon's first winter outside. <laughs> yeah, Sheldon is usually And he did really inside. well. Hey. Yeah, we just like to baby him. Sheldon! Hi! He, ah, hey. He's big enough to come outside <laughs> during the winter. <laughs> and of course, we've discussed this before where oh, you want to make it. sure wait, wait. the um, you, you're not putting them in and then bringing them out halfway through the winter because they're not accustomed to it. <laughs> Of course, the sheep are because of their wool. <laughs> this is actually Onyx's first uh, winter this out, This is all too. their... Oh, this yeah. is all their... Hi! Well... You're just itching to get out, aren't you? <laughs> Look at her. She's got an ice collar <laughs> in the water trough. Oh! oh. oh. What is he... <laughs> Johnny. 
<laughs> eat the pumpkin. <laughs> George! His face, go up through his face is all working. Yeah, George uh, just moved over here. His face is, oh, he's not. He's, 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 he's body blocking. He's body going. blocking, yeah. George! <laughs> George! George, your face is all orange. <laughs> Uh, so what they'll sometimes do is to try to break it up. They'll mash it with their face, <laughs> and uh, obviously uh, George did that. No, that was that was the one earlier I couldn't break <laughs> apart. I was asking for mom's help because he was sticking his head into the center. Oh, of the was he? Oh, yeah, getting that, it out. <laughs> that was the pumpkin that was right here that he was sticking his head in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I couldn't get it away from him because uh, he kept Oh, it's the boys. Turbo yeah. put an orange face too. Oh, he does too. <laughs> Petey, are you enjoying that? Oh boy, the crunch. I love his little pointy little lower lip. <laughs> Those seeds, good girl. The satisfying crunch. All right, well, everybody seems to be doing good out here. Eating their hay, eating their pumpkins. So that is now the first video with the new camera. Let me know what you think uh, from the little viewfinder screen. It looks like uh, I captured uh, most of the action anyway. Uh, so until next week, I hope you have a wonderful week and we will see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe. Hashtag spring is on the way. <laughs> Take care, bye-bye.